Hi friends, how are you today? So I want to do another Bible story today and I want to do one for older kids. I did one yesterday for the little ones and this one is for older kids, kinder, elementary age. Um, from the story for children storybook Bible and today's story is called the never ending picnic and it can be found in all four gospels Matthew Mark Luke and John the never ending picnic and I love this story because it shows us how powerful God is and how good he is to us and how he can take the very little that we have and multiply it so let's get started. The never ending picnic. The little boy tugged on Andrew's robe. Sir! Andrew shooed the boy away. Again, the boy tried. Sir! Sir! I can help. You? Help? Thanks. But our problem is too big for one little boy, Andrew said as he tried to keep from laughing at the child's offer. I can share my lunch, the boy insisted. Andrew looked at the thousands of people who had gathered on the hillside to hear Jesus teach. It was getting late, close to supper time. The crowd would be getting hungry soon. The disciples looked again at the young boy. Come with me, he insisted. Together they walked over to Jesus. This boy would like to share his meal with the people, but it's only five loaves of bread and two fish, not nearly enough for this hungry crowd. Jesus smiled. Tell everyone to sit down on the grass, he said. So those are the, those are all the people sitting in the grass, but there were way more. There were like 5,000 people. Um, probably more than that. And that's Jesus, and that's Andrew, his disciple, and the little boy giving his little basket of lunch of five loaves and two fish to Jesus. Let's find out what Jesus does after this. As everyone settled down, Jesus held up the bread and fish and said a prayer of thanks. He gave the food to the disciples, telling them to share it with all the people. They did as he instructed. So Jesus took that basket and he prayed and he thanked God for the little food that he had. The disciples went through the, through the crowd of thousands, giving food to everyone. The people on that, on that hillside had plenty to eat. There was so much food that 12 baskets full of bread and fish were left over. The people had come to hear a lesson from Jesus, but instead of hearing the lesson, they saw a miracle. Two little fish and five loaves were miraculously multiplied by thousands and thousands by Jesus. All he did was just pray to God and thank God for the little food that he had. And they started passing the basket, basket around and it just multiplied. That's how great God is. He multiplies what he gives us. All we have to do is really just be grateful for the little that we have and be thankful for the little that he has given us. So God's message for us today. Oh, here's the picture. I didn't show you the picture. Everyone is eating. They're enjoying their food. So over here, God's message to us today is, you now see that the smallest child can bring the largest gift. Through my power, a few loaves and fish can feed a crowd. Nothing is too small for me to use in caring for my people. Nothing is too small for God. I love that. I love that so much. Nothing is too small for God. You guys, my friends, my little, little friends, my amazing, awesome friends, you are not too small or too young for God to use you to do amazing, amazing, wonderful things. Um, so I hope that you love this story. 
and I hope that you would take today to do something nice and something kind for your family. I know we can't go out. I know we can't do a lot of things, but you're with your families and bless your brother and your sister or your mom or your dad or whoever you live with. Bless them with a hug or bless them with a kind word. Tell them that you love them. Tell them that you appreciate them and thank them for all they're doing for, for you during this time. All right, friends. I want to tell you that I love you and that I miss you so much. And I am praying for you every single day, constantly. I talk to God about you and I pray that he keeps you safe and that he keeps you full of his joy and his love is always with you. His grace is always with you. And I love you guys and I'm praying for you and I will see you again tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye my friends.